Playing with Fire How Bart Learns His Lesson About Fire Safety the Hard Way Written by Sylvia Yordanova Narrated by Million Quinteros Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Bart. I really like going out with my friends. We have such fun times. Here are my friends. They are Charlie the Dog, Oberon the Tortoise, and Bella the Rabbit. One day we decided to go for a hike in the nearby forest. We walked for a long time and became hungry, so we stopped for something to eat. I wanted a hot dog, so I lit a fire and threw the matches into the bushes. Hey Bart, Charlie yelled at me. Don't you know you should never do that? Do what? Throw away a lighted match in the forest. Don't worry, Charlie, I said. That's nothing. The match was almost out. So you think. It takes only a little spark to set a forest on fire, Charlie said. I told you it was almost out. What's the matter with you? I was getting annoyed. Then Bella chimed in. What he's saying is true, Bart. It only takes a spark to set a fire going, and before you know it, the whole forest could be on fire. Okay, but I don't see why you should be getting so upset about such a little thing, I said. It's not a little thing, and please make sure you put out the fire you just used to roast your hot dog, she said. All right, Bella, I said. I did my best to use my foot to stamp out the fire. Then I hurried to catch up with them because they had already gone ahead of me. When I caught up to them, Charlie said, You must think before you do things, Bart. Do you know what a fire in the forest can do? I did not answer. It can kill the animals, birds, and insects, Charlie said. And tortoises like me who can't move very quickly, said Oberon. And rabbits like me, said Bella when we get trapped in our burrows by the fire and can't get out. Let's keep going, guys, Charlie said. I'm sure Bart is a smart guy and will stop playing around with fire. I was getting tired of all them telling me what to do and what not to do. So I said, Okay then, since you're all so smart, why don't you go on ahead without me? Bart, we're not saying that you're stupid, Bella said. You make it sound like that. I'm used to blowing out candles on my birthday cake, and adults light fires all the time and nothing happens. Don't go, Bart, Oberon said. But I was too angry to listen, so I walked away and left them. I went my own way. I had a swim in the river, and then I found a beehive and got myself some honey. It was delicious. My friends did not know what they were missing. But I was still hungry, and the only thing I had were some marshmallows. So I made another little fire and roasted them. After I ate, my tummy was full and I was tired. So I fell asleep leaning against a tree. But I forgot to put out the fire. 